Hello all. So I wanted to do a program review for you all and I am doing Nova Southeastern University's MS in Counseling program. Now the unique thing about this program is that there are a few specialty concentrations and the specialty concentration that I'm going to be focusing on is the ABA specialty concentration, the Applied Behavior Analysis uh, specialty concentration which is anywhere from 54 to 63 credit hours. If you all want to find out more programs that have verified course sequences by ABAI, then you can check out ABAI's website and I will put the link in the description below. Now, the Association for Behavior Analysis International has verified the course sequence for this specialty. This is a 21 credit hour specialty, and there are 33 credit hours for the core courses. Now, if you also want to be licensed as a counselor through this program, then you may have to take additional courses. As I mentioned earlier, this is 54 hours to about 63 hours, so you may have to do the full 63 three hours if you want to be able to be licensed as a counselor as well as being certified as a behavior analyst. Now I did want to mention that this program is offered both online and on campus. In terms of the tuition and fees, it is $815 per credit hour. For the ABA concentration, you have to have a minimum of 54 credit hours, which is over $44,000. That does not include the other tuition and fees that they require. So this program is easily around $50,000. To let you all know a little bit more about the specialty, I'm going to read the description that is on Nova's website. The master's degree in counseling with an applied behavior analysis concentration is an innovative academic program designed for the working professional actively involved in or entering the field of applied behavior analysis. The online format is particularly designed for those who seek advanced training in the convenience of distance education. The program focuses on developing clinicians informed by science with classes taught by professionals who are active clinicians and researchers in the field. The Association for Behavior Analysis International has verified the course sequence toward the course requirements for eligibility to take the board certified behavior analyst examination. Applicants will need to meet additional requirements before they are deemed eligible to take the examination. Now, the admissions requirements are as follows. They want you to have a 2.5 GPA or higher in the last 60 semester hours of your undergraduate program or a master's degree with an overall GPA of 3.0 or better. They also want you to have a 300 or higher on the combined verbal and quantitative sections of the GRE taken within the past five years or other similar measures. They also want you to write a personal statement. Now, this personal statement should be no more than 800 words, and they basically want you to include things such as your interest in pursuing your selected concentration offered in the Master's in Counseling program, how this interest is relevant to your career and personal goals, your potential for graduate level study, a specific experience in your life that illustrates your awareness and understanding the importance of and the respect for cultural differences and your potential for forming effective counseling relationships. This program is also requiring that you have two letters of recommendation. It can be from academics or professional letters of recommendation. Now, an interview may be required for admissions. Now, keep in mind, if you are a non-degree seeking student who wants to get into the verified course sequence program for ABA, they require that you have a master's degree from a re regionally accredited institution. Now, on their website, they do have a Q&A section, and I did want to read what they say about does the ABA concentration meet all the requirements for BCBA certification? And they say the Behavior Analysis Certification Board has indicated that students may be advised that the coursework sequence meets the BACB's coursework eligibility requirements. The academic coursework is offered through the concentration. Experience requirements for certification can be met through elective practica in the program or the student can seek supervision on his or her own. Following completion of academic coursework and supervision, students will still need to pass the certification exam offered by the Behavior Analysis Certification Board. And then they give the BACB's website.
So I hope you all enjoyed this program review. Please let me know if you want me to do more program reviews for online programs or on campus programs. Um, I enjoy doing these programs because I also find out more about which programs have verified course sequences. And like I said, I will put the link in the description below for verified course sequence programs if you all want to check that out. Um, but yes, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you all. I will be back soon with more videos.